You lie in bed, gradually slipping off into sleep. It's taken you a long time to relax enough to drift off tonight. You can't seem to shake the feeling that you're not alone in your own room. Even now, on the verge of slumber, it's as though there are eyes locked onto you, sizing you up with malicious plans in mind. You try to reassure yourself that there's nothing wrong. Things will be better in the morning, surely. Hey, hey, wake up. <laughs> What's the matter? You look confused. You must be wondering who's whispering to you in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, I'm not outside your window. I'm right here in the room with you. Look around, see if you can find me. Oh. What's this? The lights won't work. How strange. Hmm. Perhaps the mysterious voices fault. You'll have to search in the dark. Uh, uh, uh. I won't let you leave before the game is over. You have to find me. Come on. Haven't you ever played hide and seek? I'm making it so easy for you. Closer. Closer. <sighs> no, I'm not hiding in the closet. Not tonight, at least. Oh, what's the matter? You look so frightened, scared of what you might find. Mm, I can't blame you. I can be very, very scary. But you better keep looking. I'm having fun right now. But if you don't play along, I might get angry. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? Good. You're getting warmer. Warmer. Oh, getting hot. Almost. Gotcha! <laughs> Better fight back or I'll pull you under the bed with me. Come on, struggle and scream. You have to make it fun. <laughs> nice job. Most nights I'd call it quits there. But it's been a while since I've crawled out into the open world. Mmm, I feel so good. Whew, I don't stretch these limbs too often. Oh, wow, you look so frightened. Do I really look that scary? Why, I'm flattered. It makes me glad to know that even after all these centuries, I can still scare humans witless with my appearance alone. Still trying the door. But I'm not done with you yet. Let me get a nice, close look at that terrified, pretty little face of yours. Oh, that's nice, those wide eyes, that quivering bottom lip. Oh, humans always look so perfect when they're afraid. I doubt I'll ever get tired of it. Hmm? What, what am I? Funny you should ask, honestly, I don't quite know. I know there are others like me, but we haven't bothered to give ourselves a name, and why should we when you humans have given us so many bugbears, hobgoblins, boogeymen? But honestly, I think I just prefer to be called a monster. I think it fits quite well. Monsters are born from fear, sustained by fear. Our one and only purpose and joy in life is to terrify humans, just like 
you. Honestly, I'm not sure why I decided to come out tonight. Usually, I'm content with frightening children, but right now, I just want more. Oh, how about this? I'll allow you to open the door and you start running. It's been so long since I've had a good chase. What will I do when I catch you? I suppose that depends on how much I enjoy myself. Better make it fun, or I might have to resort to messier methods to draw more fear out of you. (sighs) I'm so excited. Okay, on your marks, get set. Ready, go. That's it. Run, little human, run. Can you hear me, little girl? Can you hear me? Can you hear me right in your ear? No matter how far you get, you can't escape my voice. You can't escape me. Do keep trying, though. Out into the streets, eh? Good. But don't just run in a straight line. You have to dodge and weave a bit. You won't lose me, but it's more fun when you try. Crying for help won't do you any good. I have so many tricks up my sleeve. See that? The few people out here avoid you. Thanks to me, there won't be any help. You can keep screaming if you like. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I've missed this. Leaping from rooftop to rooftop, tracking my prey. I may have gotten a little bit lazy over the centuries. I should definitely do this more often. Oh, you're slowing down, my princess. Getting tired? I could keep this up all night. Are you sure you can afford to let me catch you up? I'm not ready to stop just yet. I'm getting closer and closer and closer. I can see each bead of sweat on your brow. I can hear your heart hammering in your chest. I can smell the panic on your breath. Oh my, oh my, that was close, wasn't it? You almost tripped. If you do that, I'll catch you for sure. Oh, just look at you. So much fear in that expression. I'm amazed that humans don't enjoy being afraid. You're never more alive than when you're at risk of death. I'm gaining. I'm gaining even more. I can see how tired you are. Slowing down, down, down. Ha! I've got you. (laughs) You certainly did put up quite the chase. Now, what do I do with my little prize girl? Oh, so many choices. I just love your white, terrified eyes. Maybe I should pluck them out and keep them as a souvenir. Or maybe I should take your feet instead. It must be so sore. I'd practically be doing you a favor. Mm, so tempting. But honestly, I just enjoyed myself so much. I couldn't possibly do anything to hamper your running. I'd just be so sad if I didn't ever get to chase you again. On the other hand, I can't let you get away thinking I'm all talk. If you don't believe that I'm willing to hurt you, you might not run as hard next time. I think I'll settle for leaving you with a little mark, just to remind you that this wasn't a nightmare. Now where to put it? I couldn't possibly mar that lovely, terrified face of yours. I'll put it right here. 
on the back of your hand. How will I mark you? Oh, it's very, very simple. Do you see these claws? They're so wonderfully sharp, aren't they? All I need to do is run it along your skin and... Oh, I doubt I could ever get tired of your scream. You put so much emotion into it. You're marked as my prey now. I'll be back for you. Eventually. It could be months, weeks, or even days, but I will be back to chase you again. I certainly hope you're just as scared the next time we meet. For your sake, as well as for mine. Well, little girl, I'll be watching you.